guys welcome back uh to another episode of medieval dynasty so i wanted to go mining today uh well we can still get some rocks and stuff like that uh looks like everything is running smoothly at the moment let's just check to see what kind of tools these guys have got three of those still that's good um we should start working towards now i'm not sure where he's actually going to be putting these items going to be in here or not or if he's just going to be storing them in the storage thing i can't remember whereabouts they go so i think it's here so um got some logs planks uh bulls so all those things some of these things can be basically sold uh we have a tons of feathers so uh, we can definitely sell those in a little bit but i want to go ahead that so then we'll see if we can't go mining quickly uh the nearest rocks well the nearest rocks are up there but i remember a bandit camp being up there as well so um let's see if we can't get a little bit closer for the rocks and stuff but i don't want to be traveling too far out because you know bandits really suck but we can see if we can't get a little bit closer up here and mine some of these rocks. Yeah, I'm not sure where the bandits are located, to tell you the truth, but there's some rocks up here that we can mine. Oh. Hopefully we'll get enough limestone to finish that one house and start working on our own. So we only got one stone from that. Okay, two limestone and you gotta be kidding me, there's not a lot. Is that that whole chunk there? I guess that was a whole chunk. So we got a couple limestone from that. I think we only need like one more limestone, to tell you the truth, for that one building. So we got three limestone. Yeah, these are pretty big. Like, I'm not sure. This was a path that went around here, and then I thought there was like a camp or something. Somewhere around this ridge. But I don't want to be like, exploring it too much.
Alrighty then. So I got some more, um, th straw? I think it, it's not really thatch, it's like straw. So we could, um, finish this. And this will allow us to put pickaxes in here. And then we can find somebody that's within, that uh, can do extraction. And we actually have somebody that does extraction. We actually have a lot of logs already. So what we can do is we can assign Hello. them to that and get limestone. So let's see here, we want, uh, let me take a closer look. And then we can go extraction shed and then we can assign them to that. Skills, uh, not what I'm looking for, management. Then we can go ahead and go with extraction. And we'll set this to permanently limestone. So we should be able to get quite a bit of limestone per day from this one lady. And um, she'll be mining it for us. So I think 16 should be enough for one day. Uh, we can also get clay, stone, and straw from here as well. But I already got a whole bunch of straw, so we don't need that. I'm just going to leave the, um, uh, actually we can probably turn this down for the most part. Uh, we'll probably have enough logs at the moment where we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we can make some extra firewood up. I think that would be a good idea. And then that way we can make sure that the NPCs have the firewood that they need. But, um, that really won't take too much time to do. Uh, she'll be basically gathering the limestone for us. We don't need to worry about getting it. So that will take up a huge load off of me. So we can go ahead and make... Let's go ahead and make 10 um, firewood. And that way they can go ahead and easily have that for all their things. Uh, now, I've been slowly upgrading our house so we can have a, a little bit more comfortable um, winter. Uh, so hopefully she can get all the um, limestone that we need in the next few days so we can finish that and hopefully start working on the other house as well. So I'm just going to make up the uh, firewood now. And then we can see what we can sell to the um, village down the way. And hopefully by then we'll have some buckets and stuff ready. It shouldn't take too much time to do. And there we go. We got four.
Alright, so... There's apparently a, a shipment going on um, that that was supposed to come that hasn't come to the um, tavern, uh, to the town next to us. Uh, so we need to go and basically talk to the people in the town where the shipment should have um, came from. Uh, the problem is it's like halfway across the map, so we're going to have to um, travel a little bit. I don't want to waste our coins just going there, so I'm going to walk. Um, I'm also going to bring some sticks and a hammer uh, so I can kind of... I don't know, zone out the uh, bandit camps that I know about along the path line. So, we're probably going to want to leave in the... Let's see here. I don't know what time it is. Uh, journal, map, management, management, uh, map. It's map, yes, it's 16. So we're probably not going to have enough time to travel at the moment. Uh, we can do a little bit of things around town while we wait, though, so... For example, I need to put these rocks away, and then we need to put away the... ...some other stuff, like... ...the hammer we don't really need... ...the old one... ...though we could probably use it for... ...the other things. Anyhow, um, yeah, so we're gonna need to, like, eat and all that other stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about it at the moment. I did grab some borrowed, borrowed leaf, uh, which is good for health, so we'll be able to get a little bit of health from that, just in case there are bandits. Um, we don't need all the meat on us, because it's raw, so put that down there. And let's see here, uh, let's go check the storage shed for... Um, Limestone, and we'll see if we can't work on that at the moment. So we got 10 limestone. She's doing a really good job at mining all that out, so that's good. Uh, so we'll see if we can't finish the this wall here. Just go on upgrade. Now, these ones require Dob, which is... Um, I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not sure. Da dab? Dob? I don't know. Uh, basically, it's um, a mixture of clay and... What was the other thing? Clay and thatch? Or not thatch. Um, straw, I think, if I remember correctly. So you basically mix those two in your barn. And we don't actually have a barn yet. Um, but when we progress, we will need a barn. And then you can make uh, up, like...
Alright, so uh, we had to find somebody that has been basically uh, missing. And we had to retrace our steps back into this direction. I found that, so we're going to follow this. I already know where to go, actually, because I've been... Um, I've done this quest already, but basically it goes to a waterfall back here, and you should be on the ledge, so... Just have to be careful of bandits and everything. Sometimes they could be in these in these parts, so looks like he's gone this way. And he should be up right there. All right, so just gonna quickly go through this. Um, And we're going to um, probably go back to the guy and we'll talk to him about his uh, person being down. Uh, but that will have to be in next episode for sure. Uh, there is some nice uh, area around here. It's pretty flat. Uh, we might relocate our, um, our town over in this general area. Uh, area. I have a place that in my personal save that's actually set up like over in this area, but um, I want to build it more further down over at the crossroads. Reason being is it's also flat over there, but um, this area has the bridges and those can NPCs can generally get stuck and stuff on them. So having it a little bit closer and you might have noticed in the thing that I started placing down some fences in the areas. Uh, that was to help with um, prevent the uh, bandits from spawning. So there is pretty much any structure that you build, uh, regardless if it's a fence or not, will help with the, um, like prevent spawn rates and stuff. So uh, for example, there's a spawn thing here for bandits. But anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.